We move to Dallas now. Police there within the last hour have confirmed more arrests, and they say they're expected in this attack of a transgender woman in Oak Cliff. Steve Pickett is getting that new information. He's right outside police headquarters. So they're categorizing this as a hate crime. Is that where we stand? Well, at this point, they are working with the FBI, Doug, at this very moment to ascertain whether this particular attack meets hate crime statutes, federal statutes. Uh, and they are working with those agents right now to make that determination. As you mentioned, one person right now in custody. We do know from police two other individuals have been identified, but they have not been arrested at this point. But looking at that video, they believe obviously more than one person involved. Advocates for this woman who was attacked, they say another weapon was used in this attack, silence and intolerance. This is not new to us. Kirk Myers heads a South Dallas support group for hundreds aligned with Dallas's black LGBTQ community. What Myers saw in the video shared worldwide now, the images of people cheering on men beating a transgender woman named Malaysia Booker. He says he saw group think bias at its worst. Everyone, it seems in that crowd, it seems thought that that was acceptable behavior and cheering it on or whatever, and it didn't matter who the individual was or what the backstory was. The question now is, do trans lives matter? Today, groups known more for protesting police stood outside the Oak Cliff apartment complex where Booker was attacked and challenged what many call visual proof of homophobia and bias on full display. This hate crime that we see that should not be tolerated in any community. 29-year-old Edward Thomas is the only person in jail right now tied to Booker's attack. Police say the conflict initiated after a car accident. Booker apparently argued with others and people urged men at the scene to attack her. And again, police tell us at this point they want to question those two other men who are identified in this arrest affidavit. Again, they haven't f filed any charges against them, but they believe they too are involved in this. And again, the broader concern from the community why people would sit there and let this happen, not only watch it, but record it. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.